Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for February 18th and 19th, Monday, Tuesday, for Libras. Hello, Libras. How are you? Okay, um, as always, this is the shorter reading, so I use my Doreen Virtue Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused with Reiki energy, and it is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Take what you like, leave the rest. So, on the 18th night, okay, 18th, we're leaving Aquarius to the 19th, Aquarius season, air season, you like air, to go to Pisces, which is water season, and you don't necessarily like water, unless you're maybe like a soda stream, and you know, putting that extra bubbly air into it, but it's not, it's not necessarily the most comfortable time, um, the, also, the other thing is that we have that full moon on the 19th, and that is in Virgo, okay? So Virgo is going to be a super moon, so there's going to be more, um, you, know, you know, remember the moon, the moon helps those tight, you know, those waves, the ocean waves, waves, grow, you know, get bigger and bigger. There's the pull of the, of the full moon, and we're going into the, the water sign. So this is going to be kind of a... Um, interesting time for all of us um for i think that this is going to be an interesting time for the air signs in itself um you know I, it would have been better if we had that leo full moon because you know you give you know you help to you know woo, you know the, the fire signs um but you know we'll get through this time too we'll get through this time for you so um as always too with the full moon energy i do tell people you know, full moon is part of creation made by the divine, and the energy is very powerful. Go out there. If there's things that you want um, to, you know, pick up that energy, like, you know, I put my cards out there. I put them in a baggie, of course. I put out my, you know, my necklace, you know, and the, again, in a baggie. And, you know, anything that you have that's of spiritual nature, go ahead and put that out for that energy. Now, some people say three days before and three days after. I kind of like the day before, the day of, and the day after. Also, it's a really, really good time to, um, you know, to basically set, set intentions, give up things, okay? So if there's some things that you want to release, um, you know, if you've been having a little bit of bad luck, go ahead, put that down, put that out there. Um, some people, I know that they'll write, and I've told you, write it down, uh, you know, go out there, you know, say, hey, hey there, you know, you know what, you don't have to have a formal um, way of doing this, just saying, hey there, full moon, uh, you know, I know there's a lot of energy divine, I'm calling to you, higher power, spirit guides, uh, you know, guardian angels, whoever it is, I'm calling to you, please take this away, some people burn it, some, you know, and then, you know, I do say if it's something important, that you want to keep in your memory, make a copy, put it on your refrigerator. Okay, so those are some of the things for you. So with this full moon, yeah, um, there's got this energy, and this could be why this weekend, um, you know, was going to be, was, I didn't even connect with that, duh, you know, why this weekend was a little bit agitating. Okay, so let's go ahead now. Nothing is popping, popping. I've been shuffling for a little bit. Let's go ahead and cut and see what the three cards say. One, two, and three. And we put these over here. Okay, now let's go and put the glasses on. I've been trying to do this without them. But you know what? It helps. <laughs> so let's see. Our first one is, oh my gosh, the chariot. Archangel Metatron. Guardian, I mean, Archangel Energy. Energy. Bath, something's going to be moving for you. Something's moving. An important achievement. Self-discipline and willpower. Public recognition. You know, I mean, this is, you know, this is something. And if you notice... You know, I don't believe that that is um, the sun. No, that's not the sun. That's the full moon. So this is going to be, this is going to be an important time for you to really, really ask. This is an important time for you to ask what you want it to ask. You know, and you, the self-discipline and willpower, yes, yeah, people are still irritating you. <laughs> so they're still irritating you. Um Okay, let's go on. Let's go on to our next card. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're still irritating you. And, and and again, it makes me so, you know, they don't, other people don't understand that you're a human being. You know, they don't understand it when you, 
when you um, respond in a way that you normally don't respond. Okay, next card is the Six of Air. Air is your sign. And there are things are looking up. The end of a difficult situation, taking a trip. Okay, taking a trip. So we have our, um, you know, our chariot. That's on the move, telling you that an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. We have the six of air where they're saying, you know, things are looking better. The end of a difficult situation, taking a trip. I feel like that's the one nice thing about when this, when, you know, when this kind of energy comes around, and again, this weekend, I think this this has been a lot of clearing for you, okay? This has been, you know, I, I feel like you are just getting more and more and more into what, you know, into what you want. You know, it's, you know, it, it's like you're, you're crystallizing what you want. You're seeing what you want, and you are now becoming focused on what you want. Okay, let's see what this last card says. This one is five of air. Again, air is your sign. And this is an unwise uh, choice. Learn what you can from the situation. Review everyone's motives. But again, that's more, I don't believe that you're going to actually make some unwise choice. I think it's just more the thing of what I was saying with this, you know, with this um, full moon, Virgo full moon in Pisces. You know, I think that it's just going to make you just feel kind of, well, that's, that's kind of the thing for you, too. It's like you're making these choices. You want to go to this direction. That you, you know, you're really understanding what you want, Libras. I mean, that's becoming clearer and clearer. But it's just not necessarily what you've always done, okay? It's like, you know, it, it's like you're, 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 you're changing, you know. Well, this is going to be a time, you know, there is, this, is, this is going to be a time for changing directions or or, um, <laughs> you know, it, this is a time that it, 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 and again, crystallizing keeps coming to my mind. Crystallizing your intentions. You are really crystallizing your intentions and it feels uncomfortable. It feels uncomfortable. And it doesn't necessarily work with the people around you. You know, it doesn't work with them. So again, this weekend, the weekend, you know, this Saturday, Sunday, I was thinking, you know, that there's going to be some, what did I say? Um, you know, don't apologize for the message. Maybe, you know, maybe for the delivery. I think that things are crystallizing for you. And I'm really feeling a lot of determination coming from you, Libras. So again, we go into this Monday, Tuesday, this transition, this, you know, this time with this full moon, and it just feels uncomfortable for you. But, you know, I don't think that I don't think that your decisions and your choices are wrong. I think that they're actually good decisions and choices. It's, but it just feels uncomfortable for you because you don't normally put yourself first. And you think that you are putting yourself first. But let me tell you, you're really not. You're really not putting you're just being a normal person. And then you know, I mean, yeah, it's okay. Okay, now this is weird. I don't understand where this is. It's okay to go to the washroom, the restroom, the bathroom, and not have people knocking on your door. Because I feel like that's how intrusive whatever has been going on has been. It's like, you in there? <laughs> you in there? Yes, I'm in there. What are you doing? What are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Okay, and I don't mean to, you know, but, well, you know, I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you. Give me 10 minutes. <laughs> no, okay, okay. Are you going to be coming out soon? And again, too, that's kind of that energy. That's what I've been feeling you've been, you know, it, it's kind of coming to that pinnacle here. Okay? So um, it doesn't mean that you're going to erupt. It doesn't mean, you know, when I, you know, it doesn't mean that because, but I think you're really going to start um, putting these two days, that's that type of energy that I'm feeling. But I think that you're crystallizing what you need, what you're thinking you want for your future, and um, it's going to start, okay? Okay. And it's okay to stay in the bathroom for more than 10 minutes. Okay, there's a story with it. Okay, um, Libras, as always, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.